Stephen Whiteside's here at Greenbrier doing another symbol comparison. These are all custom shop symbols I handpicked from Canada, except for this one. This is a used HH Explosion 16-inch crash someone traded in. Just brought this in because this is something you could find at a lot of pawn shops, at any other smaller music store where they don't have the symbol selection we do. So if you want something to compare to that maybe you've heard before, well, let's check out how this one sounds first. This is HHX P16. It's a used symbol on our eBay store right now. This one's bright, dry, for the HHX family. All HHX symbols are in the dark range, but this is brighter than most. Uh, it's got a medium short sustain, and it's very simple. It's got one tone, not a lot of over or undertones. Let's compare it to a suspended 19 inch, also in brilliant finish. It's going to be bigger, longer sustain, and deeper. Uh, the suspendeds are HH explosion type things with longer sustain, uh, deeper bow profile. Let's see how that sounds. There's a reason they use these for orchestras. More complex, a lot more volume. It's got a brighter attack and a long dark sustain. This is a great complex symbol. A much better choice than the HS Explosion for most drum set players, believe it or not. The Explosion's function is great for recording or low volume environments. If you're playing in a high volume environment, this doesn't have enough sustain to really punch through. You'll hear it for a second, the rest of the sustain won't go over top of the guitars and things unless you mic it very well. And we all know sound guys love to just do one or two condenser mics and call it a day on cymbals. Oh, they're so loud already, they'll cut through. Not true. Let's take a look over here. This is a 17 inch natural finish suspended. What it's going to do is give you a little more attack than the brilliant finish. It'll be a little darker. And this is a 17 inch size, so it should be a little higher pitched than this one. We have several of the 17s in natural in stock. This is one of our best powerful, sustainful, loud crashes. Awesome for rock and roll. There isn't a better crash than a natural finish suspended. So let's compare these to some more super complex, super dark cymbals. These are ideal for funk, jazz, genres where you don't have to really lay in your cymbal so hard, you can really play with the complexity better. This one's labeled HH18A. It's a hand-picked custom model that I helped uh, design or pick out with Mark Love. I honestly can't remember if this is one we made or one that he made before I got there. Uh, but I remember it was a great symbol when we brought this one home. Let's see how it sounds. This one has super shallow HHX style hammering. To compare it to the explosion crash, This one's opposite end of the spectrum, super dark. They both have a really short, dry sustain, but this one's very dark and jazzy. This would pair well with one of your classic Istanbul jazz rides. Let's check out this one, HHX Combo 18. It's got some HH hammering and then some HHX hammering in it. It's a pretty cool piece. This one has the same dry, medium, short sustain, very controlled. This is a great small club crash symbol, especially for like, a uh, poly-genre player, a different band every night, but you're always playing smaller venues, or when you do play a big venue, you've got a mic on this crash. It's going to sound better than a lot of stuff. No mics or just condensers, go with suspended. But if you have a specific instrument mic on the cymbal, or you're playing in a small bar low volume, this is the choice. And this one's HHX Combo 18. These are both traditional finish, and they're similar to the Artisan family, but they've just played around with HHX and HH uh, size hammer peens with some thinner crashes here. Let's check them all out one more time. 